Network Journal is proud to present its 17th annual 25 Influential Black Women in Business Awards, a program honoring 25 dynamic women each year who are redefining excellence, shaping the future of business through their commitment to professional excellence and to their community. The Network Journal would like to take this opportunity to thank the members of the business community who nominated all of this year's honorees, and to thank our presenting sponsor, Morgan Stanley, and platinum sponsor, Aflac, in addition to L'Oreal, Prudential, Upscale Magazine, Africa Strictly Business, the African American Golfers Digest, and WBLS Radio. And now, we give you the year 2015 25 Influential Black Women in Business Award recipients. Katrina M. Adams. Katrina Adams is Chairman of the Board, CEO and President of the United States Tennis Association in White Plains, New York. Adams is the first African American in this role at the United States Tennis Association, the world's largest tennis organization. Adams also serves as Executive Director of the Harlem Junior Tennis and Education Program, an after-school and summer program which, under her leadership, has grown from serving 80 youths to more than 1,000 each year. A two-time National Collegiate Athletic Association All-American and the first African-American NCAA doubles champion, Adams co-hosts CBS Sports Network's first all-female sports show, We Need to Talk and serves as a commentator for major tennis championships, including the U.S. Open qualifying. She is a contributor to Tennis Magazine and has been inducted into the Intercollegiate Tennis Association Women's Collegiate Hall of Fame and the Black Tennis Hall of Fame, among others. Katrina M. Adams Beatrice Hamza Bassi, Esquire Attorney Beatrice Hamza Bassi is general counsel at Atlas Mara Limited in New York City a position she acquired in February. Hamza Bassi is a graduate of the University of Maiduguri, Nigeria, and Nigerian Law School, and holds a law degree from Harvard Law School. At Atlas Mara, a financial services holding company focused on sub-Saharan Africa, Hamza Bassi oversees and coordinates legal and compliance functions across the group, drawing on expertise and experience acquired in her compliance, ethics, and complex litigation practice as a partner at Hughes Hubbard & Reed LLP. Ham Zabassi performs countless hours of pro bono work on behalf of low-income New Yorkers, for which she received widespread coverage in leading New York publications and earned the Legal Aid Society's Pro Bono Publico Award in 2010. Attorney Beatrice Ham Zabassi Lori George Billingsley Lori George Billingsley is Vice President of Community Relations at Coca-Cola North America in Atlanta, Georgia, managing a staff of six and a $20 million budget. Before joining Coca-Cola, Billingsley ran her own public relations consultancy, LG Communications. She was a columnist for PR Week, a vice president at global PR leader Porter Novelli, and an associate professor and lecturer at Ohio Dominican College, Howard University, and World Harvest Bible College. An ordained minister, Billingsley holds a bachelor's degree in public relations from Howard University, a master's in public communications from American University, and a diploma in pastoral studies from World Harvest Bible College. She received the Howard University John H. Johnson School of Communications Global Visionaries Award for Excellence in Leadership and Service in 2010. Lori George Billingsley Miko Branch Miko Branch is Chief Executive Officer at Miss Jessie's LLC in New York City. Branch and her late sister Titi created the Miss Jessie's line of products, specifically formulated for natural and curly hair, in a Brooklyn brownstone more than 10 years ago. Miss Jessie's has grown from an underground favorite into a business that boasts a popular New York City salon, an extensive product line at major national retailers, and a fan base that includes Oscar-winning actress Lupita Young-O and Grammy-nominated singer Janelle Monet. Branch attended Hudson Valley Community College and the Fashion Institute of Technology and possesses a New York State cosmetology license. Her memoir, titled Miss Jessie's, Creating a Successful Business from Scratch Naturally, will be published by HarperCollins in April. Today, she is sharing this honor with her sister and business partner, the late T.D. Branch. Miko Branch. Sharon L. Contreras. 
Sharon L. Contreras serves as superintendent of the Syracuse City School District in Syracuse, New York. Contreras, who suffers from severe hearing loss, allowed no obstacles, physical or otherwise, to derail her life pursuits. She started out in Rockford, Illinois, working to implement a federal court order to desegregate Rockford Public Schools. Contreras received bachelor's and master's degrees in English literature and a master's in teaching at Binghamton University, a master's in educational administration from the University of Wisconsin-Madison, and expects to earn a PhD in educational leadership and policy studies at Wisconsin in May. She was named superintendent of the Syracuse City School District in 2011, becoming the first female superintendent and the first woman of color to serve in that role in one of the New York's Big Five districts. Sharon L. Contreras Rosalind P. Danner, CPA, MBA Rosalind P. Danner is EPMO, Vice President Finance and Business Management for Corporate Technology at McGraw-Hill Financial in New York City. Danner has had a successful career in finance, spanning nearly 30 years at RJR Nabisco Inc., Chase Manhattan Bank, American Hooks, Arthur Anderson and & Company, and other prominent companies. At McGraw-Hill, she is responsible for technology portfolio investment and business management and technology governance and internal controls. Danner is the current president of the New York chapter of the National Association of Black Accountants Incorporated. A certified public accountant in the state of New Jersey, Danner holds a bachelor's degree in accounting from Uppsala College and an executive master's in business administration from Fairleigh Dickinson University. Rosalind P. Danner. Licia Eve, JD. Licia Eve is Vice President of State Government Affairs in the New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut region for Verizon, New York, New York. Eve is based in Verizon's New York City office and works with some of the region's most powerful state and local officials in promoting public policy. She holds a bachelor's degree from Smith College, a master's in public administration from the John F. Kennedy School of Government at Harvard University and a Juris Doctor from Harvard Law School. She has served as counsel for Vice President Joe Biden when he was the ranking member of the U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee, Senate Counsel and Homeland Security Advisor to then U.S. Senator Hillary Clinton, and Chief Economic Development Advisor for New York State Governor Andrew Cuomo. Licia Eve. Allison Hughley. Allison Hughley is president of Measurement Analytics and Insights at Weber Shandwick in New York City. Hughley is a leading voice in championing the role of analytics and communications and advancing the science of public relations evaluation. In 2012, she ranked among PR Week's top 40 under 40, and in 2014, she was recognized by PR News as one of the top women in PR. Hughley earned a bachelor's degree at Connecticut College and an MBA from Zicklin School of Business at Baruch College, City University of New York. In partnership with the LeGrant Foundation, she has coordinated straight talk events in New York and Chicago to give young women of color guidance in navigating the communications industry. Allison Hughley. Sandra Jackson Dumont. Sandra Jackson Dumont is the Frederick P. and Sandra P. Rose Chairman of Education at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City, the largest museum in the Western Hemisphere. Previously, she served as the Kayla Skinner Deputy Director for Education and Public Programs and Adjunct Curator of the Modern and Contemporary Art Department at the Seattle Art Museum, with programming oversight at the museum's three locations, Seattle Art Museum, Seattle Asian Art Museum, and Olympic Sculpture Park. She spent part of her career at the Studio Museum in Harlem, the Whitney Museum of American Art, New York University, Rhode Island School of Design, and the University of Washington. Jackson Dumont holds a bachelor's degree in art history from Sonoma State University and a master's in art history from Howard University. Sandra Jackson Dumont. Melissa E. James. Melissa E. James is Managing Director and Global Head of the Loan Products Group at Morgan Stanley in New York City. Considered one of the most influential black women in finance, James helped to establish Morgan Stanley's Loan Products Group and spearheads more than $80 billion in client loan commitments. In her 25-year tenure at the firm, she has raised billions of dollars in capital for corporate clients such as General Motors, General Electric, and DuPont. 
She managed several of its most complex transactions, including the first domestic yen issuance for General Electric Capital Corporation, the first global bond for DuPont, and an elaborate debt for equity swap pursuant to the $4 billion initial offering for technology company Agira. James holds a bachelor's degree in economics from Yale College and a master's in business administration from Harvard Business School. Melissa E. James. Janelle A. Jefferson. Janelle A. Jefferson serves as Senior Vice President of Strategic Business Development for GE Asset Management in Stamford, Connecticut. Jefferson is the most senior African-American female at GE Asset Management, a global investment firm with $117 billion in assets under management. She is responsible for implementing strategies to support activity in new markets, including establishing and managing partnerships with minority and women-owned investment banks and asset managers. She has held senior banking roles at several investment banking and advisory firms, including Bank of America Securities and Lehman Brothers, raising debt and equity capital in excess of $600 billion for Fortune 500 clients. Jefferson has a bachelor's degree in engineering from Washington University in St. Louis, Missouri, and an MBA in finance and marketing from the University of Michigan. Janelle A. Jefferson. Danielle Moss Lee. Danielle Moss Lee serves as president and chief executive officer at the YWCA of the City of New York. Moss Lee joined YWCA in 2012, one of the nation's oldest nonprofits dedicated to eliminating racism and empowering women. Under her leadership, the YW now offers a speaker series for professional women, a girls' leadership program, STEM education for girls and young women, and increased advocacy for girls and women in New York City. Moss Lee previously served as president and CEO of the Harlem Educational Activities Fund. She turned that institution into a leading-edge college preparatory and youth leadership organization with such community impact that Bank of America's Neighborhood Excellence Initiative awarded her its Neighborhood Builder title in 2008. Moss Lee earned a bachelor's degree in English Literature and History and master's and doctoral degrees in Education from Teachers College Columbia University. Danielle Moss Lee Nicole J. Merritt Nicole J. Merritt serves as Group Vice President of Corporate Communications at Entergy Services Incorporated in New Orleans, Louisiana. Merritt has more than 25 years experience in the field. Prior to Entergy, she was Marketing and Communications Vice President at Morehouse School of Medicine and Vice President of Public Affairs at Cox Communications in Atlanta. She held senior leadership positions at AT&T, Bell South, and the Saturn Division of General Motors, and was an adjunct instructor at Kennesaw State University, Georgia Perimeter, and Gwinnett Technical Colleges. Merritt has a bachelor's degree in journalism from Northwestern University's Medill School of Journalism, and a master's in communications from California State University at Northridge. Nicole J. Merritt. Allison L. Moore, Esquire. Attorney Allison Lauren Moore is Managing Director and Associate General Counsel at J.P. Morgan Chase & Company in New York City. Moore took a big risk in 2008 when she approached J.P. Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon at a breakfast honoring him. After a number of conversations and meetings, Moore was offered her current job. In her role, she oversees six attorneys and serves as the senior legal advisor in the firm's corporate and investment bank. Moore received a bachelor's degree in sociology with honors from Harvard University and a law degree from Columbia Law School. She is a board member of the Adams Street Foundation, the nonprofit arm of the Urban Assembly School for Law and Justice High School in Brooklyn, New York. She serves on the Women's Leadership Council of the United Way of New York City and mentors early career professionals, law students, and college students. Attorney Allison Lauren Moore. Vivian Rogers Picard. Vivian Rogers Picard is president of the GM Foundation and director of corporate relations at General Motors Company in Detroit, Michigan. Picard began her career on GM's finance team before moving to personnel and then to impacting public policy. 
Today, she oversees allocation of the Foundation's funds to support nonprofit organizations focused on education, health and human services, environment safety, and community development. In 2011, the GM Foundation pledged its largest grant ever, $27.1 million, to United Way for Southeastern Michigan, establishing a GM network of excellence in seven Detroit area high schools. The grant provides resources to increase graduation rates from roughly 50% to 80% by the end of 2015. Picard holds a bachelor's degree in Human Services Administration from Ferris State University and a master's degree in Personnel Management from Central Michigan University. Vivian Rogers Picard Joanne D. Roll, Ph.D. Joanne D. Roll is Dean of the School of Business at Medgar Evers College, City University of New York in Brooklyn, New York. Since earning a Ph.D. in Economics at Howard University, Roll has become passionate about the business of education and the challenge to change the future by transforming lives, especially those of minorities, women, adults over 40, and persons with disabilities. Before entering academia, she worked with the U.S. government and IBM, ran her own consulting firm, and worked on a World Bank project in Tanzania. Roll earned a BBA at the University of Miami, an MA in Economics at Southern Illinois University, and studied Diversity Management as a Harvard University Administrative Fellow. Joanne D. Roll Helen C. Shelton Helen C. Shelton is Senior Partner and Multicultural Luxury and Lifestyle Communication Strategist at Finn Partners Incorporated in New York City. Shelton is responsible for creating and overseeing communications campaigns and providing strategic counsel for blue chip brands such as Strength of Nature's Ethnic Hair Care Portfolio, the Verizon Foundation, and the Belgian jewelry line LX Collection. Shelton holds a bachelor's degree in art history from Dartmouth College and a master's from Boston University College of Communication, where she was a writing fellow. In 2004, she was named one of the Network Journal's 40 Under 40 Achievers. Shelton is fluent in Italian and is a member of the Greater New York Chapter of the Lynx Incorporated. Helen C. Shelton Donna Lynn Skerritt, MD, MS Dr. Donna Lynn Skerritt is the Chief Medical Officer at Mesoblast in New York City. Dr. Skerritt is a valuable asset at Mesoblast, a global leader in regenerative medicine. She oversees the clinical programs at the company, which develops cell-based therapies for heart failure, chronic low back pain, graft-versus-host disease, rheumatoid arthritis, and diabetic kidney disease. Dr. Skerritt has nearly 20 years' experience in stem cell procurement, manipulation, and transplantation. She has worked on the design and execution of conventional and novel stem cell therapies in hematopoietic recovery, cardiac repair, skeletal repair, and more. She earned her bachelor's degree from the University of Pennsylvania, a medical degree from Temple University School of Medicine, and a master's degree from Columbia University's Mailman School of Public Health. Dr. Donna Lynn Skerritt. Faith Taylor. Faith Taylor is Senior Vice President of Corporate Responsibility for Wyndham Worldwide in Parsippany, New Jersey. In 2006, Taylor persuaded Wyndham Worldwide CEO Stephen Holmes to launch Wyndham Green to help conserve natural resources and minimize environmental pollution. Today, Wyndham Green is a highly regarded program for company-wide sustainability. Thanks to Taylor's work, Newsweek ranked Wyndham Worldwide one of the top 50 greenest companies in America in 2011, 2012, and 2014. Born in Japan to a U.S. military father, Taylor has an MBA from the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton Business School and a bachelor's degree in economics and psychology from Stanford University. She co-founded Mothers Off Duty, a nonprofit that supports education for young single black mothers. Faith Taylor Josie J. Thomas, Esquire Josie J. Thomas serves as Executive Vice President and Chief Diversity Officer at CBS Corporation in New York City. Thomas transitioned to a career in diversity from law and business affairs. Today, she reports to the President and CEO of CBS, working with senior executives across the company. 
She also chairs the CBS Corporation Diversity Council. Thomas implemented the highly regarded CBS Diversity Institute, which creates opportunities in front of and behind the camera for diverse talent and connects CBS executives with that talent. The Institute now includes the Writer's Mentoring Programs, Directing Initiatives, Daytime Casting Initiative, Actors' Career Workshops, Sketch Comedy Showcases, and the Writer Fellowship, which was developed in a partnership with the NAACP. She is a member of the New York State Bar and the Executive Leadership Council. Josie J. Thomas Yvonne S. Thornton, MD, MPH Dr. Yvonne S. Thornton is Clinical Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology at New York Medical College at Westchester Medical Center in Valhalla, New York. Dr. Thornton is the first black woman in the United States to be board certified in high-risk obstetrics and the first to be accepted into the New York Obstetrical Society. With more than 5,000 babies delivered, she is double board certified in her field. Dr. Thornton graduated with honors from Monmouth College in New Jersey received a Doctor of Medicine degree with honors from Columbia University College of Physicians and Surgeons, and in 1996, received a Master's in Public Health from Columbia University. She was commissioned as a Lieutenant Commander in the United States Navy at the National Naval Medical Center in Bethesda, Maryland, Hospital of the U.S. President, Dr. Yvonne S. Thornton. Diane L. Waller. Diane Waller is Senior Vice President, Global Regulatory Compensation at Bank of America Merrill Lynch in Hopewell, New Jersey. Waller never took a business course prior to employment, but has administered the bank's long-term incentive compensation programs for million-dollar clients with assurance. Previously at the Bank of New York, she oversaw the design and delivery of corporate trust, public offerings, stock transfers, and privatizations. Waller received the Bank of America Global Recognition Gold Award in 2011 and 2014 and numerous Special Achievement Awards from Merrill Lynch. A Howard University graduate, she volunteers more than 70 hours a month conducting community Bible studies, teaches financial literacy at local schools, and works with youth through the Big Brothers and Big Sisters organization. Diane L. Waller Carol Henny Williams Carol Henny Williams is CEO and Chief Creative Officer at Carol H. Williams Advertising in Oakland, California. Williams grew up on Chicago's South Side and majored in biology and biochemistry at Northwestern University. While working as a copywriter at the Leo Burnett Company in Chicago, she coined the phrase, strong enough for a man, but made for a woman for secret deodorant, triggering one of the most successful turnarounds in advertising history and launching her advertising career. Williams spent 13 years at Leo Burnett, becoming the company's first female and first African-American creative director and then senior vice president. Two years after leaving the company, she took a hiatus to raise her two children before launching her company in 1986 with $40,000 in savings. Over the last decade, Carol H. Williams Advertising has earned more than $100 million in annual billings and created award-winning campaigns for Fortune 500 companies such as General Motors, Procter & Gamble, and General Mills. Williams is writing three books simultaneously, her autobiography, a textbook about success, and a children's book. Carol Henny Williams Karen Mackey Witherspoon Karen Mackey Witherspoon is Vice President of Government, Community and Cultural Affairs at the City College of New York in New York City. In her role, Mackey Witherspoon cultivates and manages relationships between college constituents and the Office of the President. During the recent economic recession, she led her division to raise more than $10 million in support of the college's WHCR The Voice of Harlem radio station, the Center for Worker Education, Aaron Davis Hall Performing Arts Center, Alumni House, and Child Development Center. Mackie Witherspoon earned a bachelor's degree and completed the master's program at the City College of New York and holds a New York State, New York City teacher's license. She serves on the boards of the Greater Harlem Chamber of Commerce and Community Works NYC and operates the Mackie Twin Arts Gallery with her identical twin sister, Sharon Mackie McGee. 
Karen Mackey Witherspoon. Lana Regina Woods. Lana Regina Woods is proprietor and president at Lana Woods Gallery in New York City. Woods has a 20-year career in corporate finance and banking. She earned a bachelor's degree in accounting at Florida A&M University and an MBA at the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School of Business. She launched Lana Woods Gallery in 1993. Since 2002, Woods has devoted herself full-time to promoting African-American master artists such as Benny Andrews, Sam Gilliam, and Richard Mayhew. She represents no more than 10 artists at a time, choosing to grow her gallery, which is located on the lower level of her Harlem, New York City brownstone home. A past president of the Metropolitan Chapter of Jack and Jill of America, Woods is a board member of the Riverside Park Conservancy in New York City and chairs the Go Green Project. Lana Regina Woods Our congratulations to each of the honorees for her focus, accomplishments, and hard work.